How do you find the trigonometric coordinates of the point located at 30 degrees on the unit circle? In this lesson, you will learn how to find the trigonometric coordinates for the 30 and 60 degree angles of the unit circle by using properties of special right triangles. Let's review. The unit circle is a circle with a one unit radius that's centered at the origin of a coordinate plane and every point on the circle represents the values of cosine then sine for each angle that they reference. Equilateral triangles have three congruent sides and three congruent angles making them 60 degrees each. To bisect an equilateral triangle all you have to do is draw in an altitude from one of the vertices. This cuts the triangle into two congruent 30, 60, 90 triangles. Starting with one of the 30, 60, 90 triangles, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side length. The Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared where c represents the hypotenuse. In this case we have 1 half squared plus h squared equals 1 squared. When we simplify this equation we get 1 fourth plus h squared equals 1. By subtracting 1 fourth from both sides we get h squared equals 3 fourths. To get h by itself, we have to take the square root of both sides. When we simplify one final time, we get h equals the square root of 3 over 2. Because the hypotenuse of the 30, 60, 90 triangle is 1, like the radius of the unit circle, we can place it inside the unit circle. By tracing the legs of the 30, 60, 90 triangle from the origin to the point where the triangle touches the circle, we can find the coordinates of the point on the unit circle. In other words, we have to move one half a unit to the right and then up by the square root of 3 over 2 units to get to the point one half square root of 3 over 2. Since the 60 degree angle is at the origin, it is the reference angle. For this reason, the cosine of 60 degrees equals 1 half, and the sine of 60 degrees equals the square root of 3 over 2. By reflecting and rotating the same triangle and then placing it back within the unit circle, we can find the coordinates for the point that is located where the reference angle is 30 degrees. As you can see, the coordinates are the square root of 3 over 2, 1 half. This means that the cosine of 30 is the square root of 3 over 2 and the sine of 30 is 1 half. Be careful not to reverse the trig coordinates for 30 and 60 degree angles since the sine value for one is the cosine value for the other. In this lesson you have learned how to find the trigonometric coordinates for the 30 and 60 degree angles of the unit circle by using properties of special right triangles.